Welcome sa sip9.com. Uh, ngayong araw, magre-review tayo. Ano? I-review natin yung apat na laws of exponent na napag-aaralan na natin. Yung unang law of exponent is pagpareho yung base. Ina-add lang natin yung exponent. Ano? And then yung second law of exponent is pag meron kang expression inside the parenthesis at meron kang exponent at the same time may exponent ka sa labas, minumultiply mo yung exponent. Ano? Sa tatlo, uh, o sa third law, Meron kang more than one expression sa loob ng parenthesis and then meron kang exponent sa labas. Dinidistribute mo yung exponent sa loob. Ano? Minumultiply mo yung lahat ng expression sa loob dun sa exponent sa labas. This is also the same with the... Uh, pag meron kang fraction, minumultiply mo rin yung expression sa loob ng parenthesis dun sa exponent. Yung exponent ng, pra- ng uh, expression sa loob ng parenthesis dun sa exponent sa labas. Kaya siya naging n kasi may 1 ito. 1 times n is n. Same also here. Okay, so magsusolve tayo ng several examples para i-apply natin itong mga uh, laws na ito. Ano? So let's start with example number 1. What is x squared times x cubed? So ito yung law of exponent number 1. Same base. Gagawin sa exponent is i-add the exponent. So, so x, 2 plus 3 is... 5. Number 2. What is 2x or 2y? Y naman tayo. 2y to the 4th times 3y to the 5th. So magiging 2 times 3 is 6. So pag may, pag, pag may number, syempre mamultiply mo yung number kasi multiplication siya. And then y to the 4th times y to the 9th. Using law of exponent number 1, same base, add the exponent. So, making y to the ninth. Okay, number 3. What is m to the fifth cubed? So, mag apply naman dito is uh, itong law of exponent number 2, which is uh, pag, may, pag meron kang... Uh, expression sa loob ng parenthesis at may exponent, yung multiply mo yung exponent dyan sa exponent sa labas ng parenthesis. So, magiging m to the 15 kasi 5 times 3. 3n raised to the 6th squared. So, ito dalawa na. Dalawa na yung uh, expression sa loob. Ano? Yung 3, yung numerical coefficient niya, yung n. So, ito na yun. I-distribute natin isa-isa yung, yung exponent. So, magiging 3 squared. Kasi 3 to the first power times 2. And then n, multiply rin natin yung exponent. Ano? Kaya siya naging 2 kasi 1 times 2. And then n, 6 times 2 is 12. Ano? So, pwede natin simplify ito. Magiging equal siya to 9 n raised to the twelfth power. Okay, so number five. Uh, R to the fourth over S to the fifth cubed. Saan naman to kasama? Dito naman siya, no? Meron kang fraction and then meron kang exponent sa labas ng uh, parenthesis, you know? So, from here, i-distribute mo siya sa numerator at sa denominator yung exponent. Ano? So, maging r to the fourth cubed over s to the fifth cubed. Hmm? And from here, pwede na natin i-simplify ito using the law of exponent number 2. No? Meron kang expression sa law, may exponent ka sa labas. So, anong ginagawa? Minumultiply lang yung exponent. Ano? So, magiging r to the 12th over s to the 15th. Okay? Okay, pagsamasamahin na natin lahat. Ano? Dito sa example number 6. Uh, what is c? 2c to the 4th over 3d to the 5th times quantity 
Malagyan natin ng square dito para mas exciting. And then, 3C squared over 4D cubed. Ano? Paano natin multiply yan? So, unahin muna natin ito. Ano? So, magiging, sabi natin, pag meron tayong, pag meron tayong uh, fraction, i-distribute natin yung uh, power dun sa numerator sa denominator. So, magiging, 2c to the fourth squared over 3d to the fifth squared times. Hindi na tayo mag parenthesis. Okay lang yan. And then, i-distribute rin natin dito. 3c squared cubed and 4d cubed. Ano? Oh, medyo malaki yata ito ah. Sobrang ko yata. So, magiging um i-multiply natin tong i-distribute naman natin ngayon yung yung power dito ano sa loob ito naman yung law num law number 3 ano so magiging uh, 2 squared c to the 8 if power kasi 4 times 2 over 3 squared is of course 3 squared and then d to the multiply times, anong 3 cubed? 3 cubed C, mayan natin i-simplify, to the 6 over 4 cubed D cubed, no? So, i-simplify muna natin yung mga numbers, ano? So, 2 squared is 4, C to the 8th, over 9, D to the 10th, times, this is 27, ano? C to the 6th. Anong 4 cube? 64. Oh, malaki itong ating i-compute ano? D cubed. No? So, burahin na natin ito para meron tayong space. Okay? So, 4 times 27. 108. 4, 27, 54, 108. Sama ba ako? Dalawang 27 ay 54, and then dalawang 54 ay 108. So, maging 108, and then C to the 8 times C to the 6, C to the 14th, over, ay, ito may hirap. Kailangan natin ang multiply, ano? 64 times 9 is 540. Ang 60 times 9 is 540. 4 times 9 is 36. 576, I think. 576 d to the 13th. Check muna natin, baka mali ako, no? 64 times 9, 36 carry 3. 6 times 9, 54, 576. So, tama. So, ang pinakasagot natin is 576 over d raised to the third. Oh, 576 d raised to the 13th yung ating denominator. Ano? And then, yung ating numerator is uh, 27 times 4, which is uh, 28. 108 C to the 14th. Ano? Okay, so, yan. Pagka yan yung isolve yan, aba, eh, pwede na kayong mag-solve ng maraming problems on laws of exponents. Ano? Okay, so ito, ito pala yung ating pinaka-last nasagot, ano, no? pinaka-last answer natin, pinaka-final answer natin. Okay? So, see you in the next tutorial.